Hey, so if you caught this video, thumbnail on the screen, recent upload, then you know I advocated for saying no, telling yourself no. As an adult, we have to do this time and time again. The most difficult thing of being an adult, there's actually no one to tell you no outside of you breaking the law. So you have to actually put those boundaries in place for yourself because always saying yes won't lead you towards your goals. And if they are important, then yes, telling yourself no, it matters, especially financially. So if you have different goals. It could be saving, investing. It could be saving up for something big. It could just be paying down debts. You can't say yes to every single sneaker, okay? I addressed that in the video. That's not what shocked me though, like having to address that. What was surprising, just to me at least, how many people actually underestimated that it's commonplace to spend four to five hundred dollars a month on sneakers. One of the biggest areas people also underestimate in life, how much they eat, how many calories they consume in a day. Listen, it happens. I don't care how diligent you think you are just by eyeballing it. If you were to actually do the math on what you consume in a day, you'd be shocked and surprised. Now, this isn't for the people that actively track every single macro that they eat and consume. Not talking about those people, but just for the average person, if you were to ask them, hey, how many calories do you think you consume in a day? They would probably over, they would probably underestimate what that number is. And I think people also underestimate how much they spend. And maybe you like, like maybe you don't spend four to $500 a month on shoes, but it's very easy to do. Just think about it. If a retro comes out, you like it that month. Another retro comes out, you like it that month. Not even a retro, a retro drops and a new balance drops. That alone is $200 a pair or close to it. Now I'm not here to argue the value of the Jordan versus the new balance. I've already put up a video on that. You guys can go ahead and reference it um, in the description box of this video. But point being, it's very, very easy to reach that $400 spend a month and being conservative within sneakers is honestly only buying two pairs a month like that's that's the truth being conservative if you're buying two pairs a month that still comes right about $400 but here's something more shocking do you know the number of people who can't cover a $400 cash emergency just think about that $400, just the cost of two pairs of sneakers in modern day 2023. A lot of people, they can't actually cover that without placing it on a high interest credit card. That is a very scary statistic, but it's not a new one. That's been the case for some time now. And again, so many macro and micro factors play into that, but I'll continue to drive this message home. If you know, and only you know your situation, but if you're in a situation where God forbid something happens and you need to cover a thousand dollars and you can't do that without putting it on a high interest credit card in which you may end up paying 20 to 24% on that emergency. So you've already been traumatized by the emergency and now you have interest on top of that. Please just rethink buying pairs for just a few releases okay maybe one to two months maybe even three until you make sure that you have a savings in place you have an emergency fund you're good you can take care of something if it happens now the total amount of that that will vary based on every single person okay uh ultimately yes i think it's smart to have three to six months and if you are in a position to save six months to a year just in case something really bad happens i mean that's a really nice fu fund where you aren't in a position where you can't just walk away from a lot of things because well you're at least set for a year in terms of your living expenses but please 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 if you listen to nothing else on this channel this year please listen to getting yourself an emergency fund and being aware of how much you spend. I'm not saying you choosing to spend $400 a month on sneakers is bad if everything else is in order. If two pairs drop a month and you really love them, you're likely also saying no to a few pairs to go for those pairs while you're doing other things. If you're buying two pairs, but you're also putting money away, putting money away, let's just say towards uh, buying a house eventually, you're putting money away for a vacation, you're putting money away towards a kid's college fund and you're doing that diligently and you're also actively paying down any debts that you have. I'm not an all or nothing person. If the situation is pretty reasonable, life is short. We're only here for a really short amount of time. Enjoy the sneakers, but just do so within reason. So I was just shocked. I was shocked people were surprised 
that uh, it's not uncommon to spend four to five hundred dollars a month what's scary though is a lot of people can't cover a four hundred dollar emergency and that's what needs to be uh stressed more of getting yourself in a financially stable position before you are enjoying things like sneakers which you don't need and if you need any assistance as always on creating a budget for yourself to take control of your income my information is in the description box of every video you just hit my email i'll get that sent over to you immediately and as always act your age not your shoe size peace i am all in on the uh my birkenstock socks here okay this is one pair i already have another pair um on the way